One week before my daughter's second birthday, I deployed. Uh, and I was gone for about 14 months. And I literally cried every single day that I was gone. And so I started my company um, as soon as I got back home as a promise to her that I would never deploy away from her again. I went active duty in 2010 as an officer, uh, right after I graduated from college. I went straight to an LHD4, which is the boxer. We went on our deployment almost immediately after I arrived. Uh, we were out to sea for three straight months. I left active duty to go to law school, at which point I joined the reserves. And I had, as soon as I graduated, I think maybe three months later, I got the call and was told I was getting mobilized. Uh, to go to Djibouti. So when I was deployed for those 14 months, um, I had never given my daughter any type of sweets before I left. And then while I was gone, she was living with my family and they were just like, oh, poor baby, you've been deprived. So they were giving her ice cream and candies. And so I knew that I couldn't come back home and just take them away uh, because a baby who's never had candy doesn't miss it. But a kid who's had it is just like, well, why can't I have this anymore? Uh, and so the chocolate I made for her so that she could have the desserts that she fell in love with while I was deployed and with the ingredients that I love. I was able to get into this program called Expo East and I launched my product at that um, expo. I met with Whole Foods, I met with uh, like a ton of other grocery stores right at that meeting. And as a result, we've been able to get into over 200 stores in less than a year. My biggest obstacle has honestly been trying to raise money. When I tell people that I need to raise money because I need to go to this obstacle or, or this this milestone. People look at me and I'm just like, how do you know you're going to be there by that date? And I'm just like, because I have a plan. Uh, and people look at me like, I don't think you can do it. And it's funny because like literally down to, I think I was 10 bars off from how many bars I thought I was going to be able to sell by like a certain date, but I still couldn't raise any money. It's just been uh, very difficult for me. We have to buy equipment so that we can start producing our own chocolate on a larger scale. Uh, because prior to prior to getting into all these grocery stores, we were able to make it by hand. Uh, we're using our smaller pieces of equipment, but obviously now when we're in all these grocery stores, we cannot keep up. I learned about uh, Warrior Rising at the Veterans Business Battle at Rice University this year. I met Jason there when I was competing and he told me all about Warrior Rising and so here I am. Bon Appetit Sweet is a better for you dessert company. Uh, right now we're focusing on chocolates. Our chocolates are made using zero added sugar and we only use three to five ingredients. Um, they're all organic, fair trade, non-GMO and dairy free. Uh, so basically we make chocolate for chocolate lovers who want a product that tastes good and is good for them. If I win the $20,000, I will use it to uh, put a down payment on an SBA loan so that I can get out my equipment. The efforts to raise money to buy the equipment has been very difficult, as I said, and so in order to get around that, I'm going to take out an SBA loan. But in order to take out an SBA loan, you need 10% down payment. And so this $20,000 will get me to that 10%. In less than one year, we've almost tripled our sales. And we've gotten into over 200 grocery stores in that same period of time. Our chocolate is changing the world of chocolate. Because at Bone Up is Sweet, we do better for you best.